One of the most common things I hear from my students is, ah, I wish my horse could just tell me what she's thinking. She can, and she does. Here's some of the most common ways your horse is telling you what they think. Let's start with the eyes. So signs of go, we will consider signs of bonding. These are positive signals. Consider this the green light to continue. Some of these would be soft eyes, blinking eyes, or rolling eyes. This happens when they're yawning and it's a wonderful sign of relaxation. On the right are signs of brace or woe. Your horse is struggling with your current activity. You may wish to wait until they come back to you and are able to offer you a sign of bonding. These might be not blinking, hard eyes, or what I call going internal. What I mean by this is that your horse has left the building. They are more focused on what is going on inside of them versus what you are trying to offer them. And of course, the whites of the eyes shows fear. These two pics are only taken about 10 minutes apart. This is when I first went to spend time with Alia, the little foster horse that we have, because we are going to bring her home. You can see on the one on the right, she is bracing against me. Her eyes are hooded and protected. I'm standing inside her 12 by 12 stall with her, and she is pretty skeptical. In the left picture, I have decided to sit down outside of her stall, and you can see that this piqued her interest and engaged her curiosity. How about the ears? What do they have to say? I know Spider's fly mask is adorable, but so are his ears. His perky ears are showing his interest and his engagement. Other ear signals that mean you're good to go are soft, pliable ears and thinking ears. Thinking ears are when their ears are pointed backwards about a 45 degree angle. They are not pinned. This is a positive sign, but you do want to wait until they've completely processed your request. They are deep in thought and you will achieve more if you wait for them to think it through. On the right are some of the signs of brace, such as taut ears or pinned ears. This is a hard no. You may wish to put space between you and then wait for them to come back to you before you proceed. And of course, swiveling ears can be signs of fear. Fiesta is demonstrating her concerned ears. She just made a big musical chirp with the electric piano in front of her and her ears are saying, yikes. So we just waited for her to process it through, get rid of her concern and continue her investigations. Let's talk about noses and nostrils. Our horses say so much with their noses. Some of the signs of bondings are touch-ins, which the black horse on the left is demonstrating, such an open-hearted communication, round open nostrils, knickers, and rubbing their front legs with their muzzles. Some people consider this meaning, oh, I get it. Another thinks it's a sign of relaxation, but either way, good to go. Signs of brace are on the right, flared nostrils, wrinkles behind the nostrils, or nostrils pulled into a tight skinny O. <laughs> Willow, my Bay Morgan on the right, is telling me, back off with your silly camera, Missy. I was taking pics for a presentation and I was creating and she had had enough. The answer, done for the day. Mouths. There are all sorts of ways our horses can tell us their feelings with their mouths. Some of the signs of bonding are soft lips, licking and chewing, rubbing the front leg with their muzzle, a soft chin, wiggling lips softly, Paloma, the gorgeous Mustang on the left, is demonstrating one of my favorite mouth messages. I call it the lip of joy. She is telling her human, you rock, keep scratching with those magical fingers of yours. On the right is signs of brace, such as wrinkles by the lips, tight chin, tight lips, pursed lips, and grinding of teeth. Biting and nipping can also be signs of aggression or nervousness. Best to make space between you and wait until they are able to quote unquote, come back to you, and then you can proceed. Zeus's tight chin on the right is saying, nope, not loving this, let's do something else. We helped him release that brace by just waiting for him to process his concerns. He gets nervous when he learns something new and just needs a minute or two to think it through. Some signs of bonding with the tail are a tail swishing softly or a soft flowing tail. Okay, I could not find a pic that really demonstrate the lovely flowy movement of the horse's tail when they are moving fluidly. So I picked this really cool picture of the longest tail and mane on record. Look at that, that's amazing. Signs of brace are clamped to the body, a swishing tail or a J or scorpion tail. A Google search for bucking comes up with some pretty distressing pics. So I thought we could use this emblem. It shows the quote unquote scorpion tail really nicely. When the tail is shaped like the J like that, the horse is really upset. Stop what you are doing and take all of the pressure off. Take the time to regroup and then assess whether you should change to something more palatable or just slow your activity way down. Researchers did some pretty fun studies on communicating with our horses and they had some very telling conclusions. They wrote, 
It's also possible that your horse has given up on communicating with you because you never listen. That's an unfortunate situation, but it can be fixed. If you don't know what your horse wants, be creative and test solutions. It could be a great game to play together and you're sure to see positive changes in your horse's attitude. So have fun with this. Take the information we have here and really make it your own with your horse. This was one of the segments of our online course, Bonding with Your Horse. If you'd like to learn more about it and maybe get the course yourself, you can go to bridlesandbreath.teachable.com or to our website, bridlesandbreath.com.